This is one of the first things uh, that people will see in the exhibition. It's a large wall infographic that was done for us by Detail Design. Something we wanted to make sure that we do in this exhibition, it's reflected in this infographic, is that we're noting both the natural breakdown of how much water there is on the planet, but we're also drawing attention to what we're calling the human distribution of water. The USA is right on the top there with, uh, with almost 600 litres per person per day as an average. Going all the way down, Ireland's about 150 litres a day, going down to Bangladesh, Ghana, Haiti and Mozambique, which are all under what the UN calls the water poverty threshold. We also have an object included in this side of the infographic, uh, which is a prepaid water meter from South Africa. Uh, these have been installed in South Africa since the late 90s. The prepaid water meter has caused a great deal of social unrest in, in South Africa. Um, in many instances, people would have had a free communal standpipe near their homes, uh, and then the municipalities installed these meters which restrict what water they can take. And there have been numerous examples of ill effects from this. The High Courts in 2008 ruled that these meters were in fact unconstitutional and illegal, uh, and they asked that uh, the government provide at least 50 litres of water a day per person. Uh, the state appealed this judgment, and the Constitutional Court found in the end that no prepaid meters were legal and the government wasn't under any particular obligation to give a free water supply. The prepaid water meter is a contentious object. On the one hand, you could say that in the future we're going to need to ration water, and so we might all need things like meters which restrict how much water we can draw. At the same time, though, it's, it's, attaching, it's making water into a commodity, and when you have to pay for water, uh, and it becomes a commodity, then obviously people who have less money are going to have less access to something which is necessary for life. It's a vital resource.